Morning guys. I wanted to talk about um, tick repellent, bug repellent. Um, I work every day out in the woods with both my jobs and I wanted to share my results as trying different tick repellents, especially here in Connecticut. Um, I live only 15 miles from Lyme, Connecticut, which is named at, uh, Lyme disease is named after the first case of Lyme disease. Um, so I've had Lyme disease twice and it's, it's not very pretty. Um, so I try to prevent it as much as I can. The best way to do that is through tick checks. So after you're out of the woods, go home and take off your clothes and put them in the dryer, put them on high heat, and then uh, check your body thoroughly for little, little ticks. Um, especially uh, the deer tick. Um, that's the one that carries the, the Lyme disease, not so much the dog tick. Um, so I've tried out uh, different products for five days and uh, had different results. Um, I tried uh, sprays um, with DEET in them, like uh, Repel and Cutter. Those didn't have enough DEET in them for me, so I stuck with uh, off I used off and this is pretty good I like using off there's 25 percent D in it I don't like deed at all but it worked and I also used uh, dry off this also worked as well but it left a, a residue kind of a stain on my clothing uh, washed off though um, the other deep pro the other uh, off product was wet, so it kind of went through this, the the uh, clothing and uh, got onto my skin. I used I used those for five days and I found one tick on me. And I'm off the trail a lot, so I'm pretty much um, in tick territory, as you can see right now. <laughs> I'm uh, in a field. So there's a lot of ticks in here and I've seen ticks since January uh, 2017 you know in the winter time um, and the beginning of the season was the worst season I've ever seen it and surprisingly towards the end it's uh, September right now the end of middle September and I'm seeing like hardly any I don't know if it's the repellent that I'm using or just uh, the fact that they've uh, been dying off. Um, so the the other thing I used was um, this product here, permethrin. Now this stuff is also a chemical, um, and it's it's scary too, um, but it worked the best. And I only I used it for five days and found zero ticks on me. And uh, that goes on your clothing. So you apply it to your clothing before the hike and you let it dry for about an hour. Um, I used it, it, dried it out in the sun for a whole day. And then, um, and then you could use it through, uh, throughout your hike for, and then wash it for 70 times and it's still active in, in your clothing. So you don't need to reapply it for quite a while, and which I like. I can just put on my clothing and just go out and hike and it works great. You can roll around in grasses with ticks and and they just die and they don't get on you at all. Um, so I tried that for five days and zero ticks. Um, I also uh, tried nothing at all and just went out in, into, the, into the trail and within 20 minutes I had uh, 15 ticks on me so it was pretty bad in the beginning of the season in May um, so that's why I started using tick repellents um, I also use uh, sometimes I use tick gaiters I put those on my boots over my boots and onto my socks and uh, but they tend to slip off um, they're not as great as tucking your your socks over over your pant legs um, so I tried that and I put the tick repellent on that as well. Uh, you know what I also liked using a lot was 
a natural oil. It's made out of uh, lemongrass, lavender, and cedar wood, and a little bit of witch hazel, I believe. I started um, going out there and seeing what worked, what combination, what amount of drops, and it worked great. You know, I did it for five days, and then I found one tick on me. Um, and I liked it a lot because I could spray it on my head, I could spray it on my skin, I could spray it on my legs, I could spray it on my clothes, and that's what I did. And every product I used, I applied twice, you know, in the morning and then in the afternoon. So I went through it a lot. Um, the off is, uh, it's about $5.99 to $7.50 in the stores. And it lasted me that week, applying it twice. The natural oils was about $10 and I went through it. So it's a bit more expensive, but um, again, I could use it on my skin. And the um, permethrin is about $15 for a 24 ounce bottle. So you could use a lot of that. I, I sprayed it on two pairs of pants, two pairs of socks, two pairs of shirts, uh, two tents, uh, two rain flies for the tents. I sprayed it on my tick gaiters. So I went through a lot of it just for the, with that one bottle. So ultimately that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the permethrin and just on my clothing, my backpack, and I'm gonna use natural oils on my skin so with the permethrin I'm just I'm walk I'm just getting dressed with my hiking clothes and just going out there and then just taking that oil natural oils and just spraying it on my skin and that works great for me that combination of those two um, so if you want to just uh, not get Lyme disease or the new disease Powison then uh, I'd use a tick repellent some type of repellent anyways that's my results and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, get out there and hike, hike on. Yeah, one other thing I wanted to mention about uh, using the sprays as a repellent, uh, the off, a lot of times it's quick and easy, but also it can, uh, a lot of it you just in, start inhaling. And that's one thing I didn't like about it, so just wanted to mention that.